So in this video, we're going to talk about what sold this weekend. Welcome back into Rocky Top. It is Easter weekend, and I hope you have had a wonderful weekend with your families. And in this video, we're going to talk about what sold over Friday, Saturday, and today, because today is Sunday. And uh, we're going to look and see what sold and talk about a few things. So sit tight. We'll see you on the other side. Bang. Welcome in. My name is Ben Rocky Top Picker. Welcome to Rocky Top right here in the hills of East Tennessee. If you like this kind of content by the time I'm done, how about you thumbs up the video, hit that subscribe and the bell notification. That way you'll know next time we upload another video. And by the way, I am a reseller. I go to yard sales, garage sales, estate sales. Uh, thrift stores, buy things for cheap, flip it online, mainly eBay for a profit. And it's the best job in the world. And as we go down through the video series, you'll you'll understand why that is. But uh, Or you may be a reseller yourself and know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, today we're going to talk about what sold over this past Friday, Saturday. And today is Easter Sunday. And I was, I was compiling the, uh, the sales... The best sound in the world to a reseller is what, ladies and gentlemen? Cha-ching on your phone, right? So as I was compiling all these uh, sales, phone went off three or four times, so I had to start all over to get all this put together for you guys to see. So we still have uh, this evening uh, left in the weekend till midnight, so who knows what will roll over between now and then. So here we go, guys. It's not a lot. Um, we're going to start with um, these little action figures down here. And uh, these right here are, are the Jarwares Fortnite action figures. And then one's an oddball, which is this one right here. And if you run across these guys and gals, you want to pick these things up. Uh, especially if they're free. So all this was total profit right here in these four figures. So this little lot of figures sold for $13.99 plus shipping, which brought it to $20.77 on that. Next up, we have the Lord of the Rings Return of the King. I love doing video games. If you can find video games that are complete in the original box with the manual and the disc in good shape, these are easy to list, easy to ship, and they sell quickly. So that Lord of the Rings game sold for $8.99 plus shipping, which brought it, brought it to $9.73. The next game, next door to it right there, well, actually, they're going to jump around a little bit. We sold this. This is uh, Beyblades. I don't know much about this. Uh, I was at a thrift store and saw this laying there, and I comped it out. It's fairly decent. Now, that's a low-priced item, but still. There's a lot of debate in the reseller community about selling things on the low end of the spectrum versus high-ticket items. But here's the bottom line, in my opinion, my humble opinion. If you're buying things cheap, anything you flip higher than what you paid for it is, is profit. So I wouldn't scoff at any amount of profit. And that's just me personally. But anyway, Beyblade Burst, Burst Surge, Perfect Phoenix. What's well, a mouthful? Uh, Sling Shock Toys or whatever that is right there. That's sold for $6.99 plus shipping. Bring the order to $14.09 right there. Now, the next thing we got is the PC DJ. This is software, uh, DJ software, MP3, that you can use on your computer. I used to be a full-time DJ for many, many years. So this came out of my personal collection. And uh, these days, all your DJing is done from computers, or mostly these days. Don't know many that still spin vinyl. Uh, but this uh, this game right here sold for six dollars plus shipping And then we have I gotta tell you the story about this also in the video where I went to the flea market in gray Which you have not seen yet uh, You will maybe you have 
Depends on when I get that sucker edited and uploaded. Uh, this grave digger, I found it at the yard sale. The lady only wanted a dollar for it. There's no remote control to it. But I have learned uh, through the bearded thrift machine over in South Carolina that if you find any remote controlled vehicles with BKT tires, you can see that down there, BKT, you want to pick these up. Whether they work or not, remote or not, you want to pick these up. Uh, because just the tires alone, I've seen sold comps on it for like 30 bucks. So this sold out, whole package sold out for about 25 plus shipping on that vehicle right there. And also, um, these are two items I picked up at a yard sale, not on camera. Uh, these are pretty cool. These are battery tender, wireless battery monitors. And it has a uh, an app you can download, Wi-Fi connected, and it helps you read your battery life. And um, most likely, if I kept these, they were going to be for my motorcycles. It's pretty cool. You can use it for a lot of different things here. And um, open it up and give you an inside view. So at this particular yard sale, I bought two of them, as you can see right here. So I bought these two for five two for five dollars and someone came in over the weekend here bought both of them for a total of uh, 49.98 which i thought was fantastic and i would call that a bang count it right there now when you get a bang count it on this channel that means your profit margins are killer so be prepared i hope i didn't scare you when i done that all right, next up, we've got an antique uh, barware item. This is a metal tray, Genesee beer. Um, pick this up at a private pick. It's just like a metal beer tray. It's double-sided, got the logo on the bottom of it, and it's from Rochester, New York. And uh, it's in real good condition. And this one sold here for $18 plus shipping. Then we have the Paintball 2 game. I'm jumping around so much. Paintball 2, Xbox 360, same deal. Sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Now these are cool. These Reds golf clubs. But we'll get to those in just a second. I want to talk about these Camel Gear uh, leather gloves. Now these were, from what I understand, it come from the same sale that I bought these battery tenders from. They had a lot of Camel cigarettes uh, branded uh, things. Like I've got a couple duffel bags. I got two pairs of these gloves um, which close with Velcro and they're super nice. Still in the bag. I um, think I got both pair of these Camels too for five. These pairs of gloves sold for $15.99 plus shipping. Now, if you're a ball fan, Cincinnati Reds, look at these golf head clubs, golf club covers. Uh, these are pretty cool. We picked these up at a Goodwill in the next town over from us, or from me, up in uh, Johnson City. And uh, they were rolling them out in a buggy, and I saw them laying in the buggy, and I grabbed all three of them. So, uh, golf club head covers are an easy sale so these are pretty nice cincinnati reds there's three of them those things sold for 17 dollars plus shipping another game here we got another back to the future for ps3 this game sold for 24.99 plus shipping then we go on to dishware now this is something i didn't think i would get involved in but uh saw these checked them out and i and comped them and had to get them this is the corningware brand and it is the um blue cornflower design i remember growing up as a kid and as a fact matter of fact i ate lunch at my my parents house today and these dishes were on the table with with the food being served in it so they have a lot of this corningware stuff but this right here is a roasting uh, dish doesn't have a lid uh, I picked that up for a couple bucks at a private pick. That sold for $14.50 plus shipping. And then we get on to the last item, which are, I love these things. They're the neat shoes. They're Callaway golf shoes, men's golf shoes. 
uh, excellent condition. Picked these up also at the Goodwill. And the only thing I had to do was change the cleats, which I had them here and I just changed them out. But almost brand spanking new condition here. Uh, great pair of golf shoes. Those sold for $20 plus shipping. All right, so our totals for all that is about 50 we have 15 items that sold for $391.63 not bad for a holiday weekend um you know how ebay's been it's just been a roller coaster slow some days moderate the next so it was i'm fairly satisfied with that being an easter holiday weekend i'm sure there's a lot of folks that have gone out of town but anyway, I, I wanted to make this a quick video for you. Oh, I do have one more item I forgot to cover. My apologies. We have two of the PlayStation 3 PS3 DualShock 3 controllers. These just went out um, as I was comp compiling these items to do the video it just sold. Both of these went for $24.99 plus shipping. So there you have it. Once again, my name is Ben. This is Rocky Top Picker. You're here at the Rocky Top Shed. Hope you would give us a like and a subscribe. We're going to have a lot more videos coming to you as we get into yard sale season. Oh my gosh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, yard sale season is always exciting time to, to load up on brand new fresh inventory. Um, and I hope everybody has worked through their dead piles this winter. Uh, I've done so. It is, it's painstaking, but to get it done, it's still, it becomes rewarding. But anyway, hey, I'm also on Instagram. You can find me Rocky Top Picker 73 on Instagram. Send me a follow. I'll follow you back. I'm also on Facebook as Rocky Top Picker. You can look me up there on the social medias and, uh, yeah, give us a subscribe, come back and see us. And I, uh, have a lot more to come to you. So we cannot wait to see you right here at Rocky Top. We'll see you soon.